Greetings, shark fans. I have this Liftaway ZU560 on temporary loan from one Thomas Rechtenwald. And I was searching through my collection, and I went, you know, I think I have another machine that seems to be pretty much in the same class, you know, a shark competitor, price-wise, size-wise, capability-wise, and it's this Bissell MultiClean. So I think these two machines um, would compete very, very closely, you know, uh, let's say price, um, power, usage, general capabilities. They're supposed to be, you know, that this one says tangle free. This one has the zero M, even though it kind of bugs me, it doesn't say it anywhere. Um, you know, it's got the little paddle scraper, brush roll, flappy things in there that do an absolutely excellent job. So I've got a whole bunch of uh, airflow and suction tests to run on this machine. So let's get started. Um, this machine has high and low power and it also has a suction relief valve, you know, that's wide open or completely closed. So let's start off, let's say low power suction relief fully open and work from there. Uh, all the filters are in. Okay, that should be maximum airflow. We're running on low brush roll speed still, but it should be maximum CFM. So, eh, around mid 50s. Okay, let's crank up the brush roll speed. As I said, suction relief is open, brush roll speed is high. Now I'll close the valve. All right, that should be maximum everything. Yeah, almost 57 CFM, not much change really. Okay, so right around mid 50s. Now let's take all the filters out and don't run your machine with all the filters out. They need them. So here's the filters. They are cleaned, stained, but cleaned. And I guess I can take this out too. Why not? Let's see what kind of an effect all that stuff over there coming out has. I'll just run it on high. Okay, valve open. It's louder. Okay, that's absolutely everything. Valve is closed. So the point of taking all the filters out is to find out how much CFM these things actually suck down. So I'd probably say somewhere in the range of around six, and that's for all three of these.
Due to the unusual nature of this brush roll, uh, speeds might be a little difficult to measure and the measurements might bounce around mm, kind of strangely. So this HEPA filter in its current condition is HEPA, but it's more like H10, not H11. If it was H11, the 0.3 micron reading would be at or near zero.